All right, man, another fight week for you. How excited are you to get this one, to get this one rolling? Very excited, man. I've been waiting all this time, you know. My last fight was September, uh, but everything going great, man. The training was good. The camp was great. You know, just here to make this weight, you know, and have fun Saturday night. So how frustrating is that kind of a layoff for you? I know you've had layoffs like that in the past, so you're, it's not like you weren't used to it, but coming off such a big win like, like you had uh, back in September, knowing that you were going to have to wait this long, was there a little bit of frustration with that? Um, yes and no. You know, the first time that I had this long way off, it was because of injuries, you know, and this time I was healthy. I think that was the only thing. But, um, you know, they told me it was going to be a, a year-long tournament, you know, so I was expecting the long wait since I was the first fight. And then Rory fought the same night, but he wasn't in the tournament. So, you know, I knew what to expect, you know. But still, still eight months waiting. <laughs> that still sucks, you know, but uh, I just stayed focused, you know. I kept training, you know, fixing mistakes here and there. And uh, yeah, but it's here now, you know, everything is past, you know, the fight, you know, it's a couple of days away, so I'm excited for that. Was it better off for you that you were the first fight in the tournament, so that way you could sort of, yeah, you knew that I you like had to wait a little bit longer and you can concentrate on looking at what other guys were bringing to the table? Yeah, true, because I like to go to the shows as well, you know, and watch the fights, so uh, that planned out pretty good for me, you know, first fight, you know, set back, you know, watch the other guys fight, so that was pretty fun. You uh, you were there in February for the for the Page and Daily fight, right? Yep. What did you take from that fight uh, in terms of sitting there watching those guys up close and personal, knowing that you were going to have to fight the winner of that one? Mm -hmm. um, you know, interesting fight. You know, uh, a little different than we all expected, of course. But uh, definitely some stuff to take away. You know, I think uh, MVP stayed very composed. Uh, even when he got taken down, you know, he wasn't freaking out. He was cool in there. His uh, his conditioning was really good too for that fight. You know what I mean? So a lot of other stuff that my coach has picked up as well. You know, he was there with me, watching and uh, yeah. But me and him is gonna be different for sure. You know, expect a lot more excitement. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna attack, you know, Rod is gonna sit Thank back. And, uh, I can't wait, man. This is an interesting fight, you know. I've been looking for a fight like this for a long time. You know, uh, he's still, you know, MVP, man. He's still undefeated, he's still dangerous. You know, uh, I'm not looking past him, but I'm very excited to get in there. Obviously, a ton on the line. I mean, of course, you, you win, you make it to the final. And once you're in the final, Regardless of who's got the title, you're yeah. fighting for the title. Again, I know that's something you want to get back, so can you maybe take me through a little bit uh, of Rory's fight against uh, Neyman Gracie next month and, and what you think of that fight, knowing that with a, when, when you get your hand raised on Saturday, you're fighting the winner of that Yeah, one. You know, yeah, that's what I'm here to do. You know, got into this tournament because of the title. You know, uh, I wanted a rematch right away, you know what I mean, since the fight was closed against Rory. But uh, tournament... It's just as good, you know what I mean. Titles on the line. That's what I'm here for. Tournament title and the, and the division title. You know, so uh, it's good. You know, one more fight and we're there. You know what I mean. I think Rory and Neiman is going to be very interesting. You know, Neiman, uh, very strong grappler, big guy too. You know, uh, if he gets on top of somebody, it's going to be trouble. You know what I mean. But I think Rory is experienced enough. I think he should be able to get the win. And. Uh, Everything can go according to plan, you know, meet him in the finals and get the belt back. Uh, but of course, I got a tough test a tough test ahead of me in MVP. I'm not looking past him, like I said before, focusing, you know, focusing just on him right now. Tell me a little bit about MVP and what he brings to the table. I mean, you know he's a dangerous guy, you know he's un undefeated. But as you look at his past fights, uh, where is he dangerous to you and sort of what does he bring to the table compared to what you've got? Yeah, it's a different type of striker, you know. Uh, it's just a guy, a hard guy to hit, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people being able to connect on him, to hit him. And uh, that's what we're here to do, you know what I mean? Just got to connect, you know. Connect the good kick, the good punch, and everything is going to change. And, uh, that's what I'm here to do, man. Just find the, find the spot, connect, put him out, and move on to the finals. Um, he has never been an underdog before that I can find. He's a pretty big underdog against you. I mean, tell me a little bit about, you know, do you look at that kind of stuff? 
Does that mean anything to you? Does that put a chip on your shoulder? Does it give you an extra confidence boost when you hear stuff like that? Uh, I actually heard about that yesterday. Somebody from Belto was asking me if I seen the odds, and you know, I just saw it this morning that I'm a big favorite. But man, honestly, no surprise. You know, uh, I got way more experience than him. I've been fighting, you know, tough level for a while, and I've been a champion twice before. You know, so. Uh, you will be pissed if I was not the favorite, you know, in this fight. But uh, there's no surprise. I don't think that changes a thing, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just there to fight. Uh, it's just another fight for me. You know, there's no pressure at all. You know, I'm experienced, experienced enough. Fighting for me is just a normal thing, you know, something that I that I love doing. So uh, none of this other stuff bug, bugs me at all, you know, the smack talk odds, this and that, whatever people are saying out there, it doesn't matter. I'm just here to do my job, I'm focusing on my job, you know, and that's to get the win. And that's what I'm going to do Saturday. Do you feel like part of the, uh, the the odds thing has something to do with the level of fighters that you've been in there against compared to the level of fighters that he's been in there against? I mean, you look down your resume and you see some huge names. You look down his, you don't see as many. Um, and, and do you think that type of in-cage experience will be a big factor for you on Saturday? Probably that and, the, and his last fight against Daly, you know, because he's got a lot of critics off from that fight, mm -hmm. you know, saying that he's not ready for the high level, this and that. So maybe a lot of people are looking at that fight, you know what I mean? But for me, man, I thought it looked good in there, you know what I mean? Daly changed everything up, you know, he wrestled him pretty good. You know, he was able to do something different there, you know. But uh, man, I'm just looking at him, you know, he's still an undefeated guy that he had to be beat, you know what I mean? So. Uh, like I said, none of that matters. I'm just there to win. When you look back at your Bellator career, like 90% of your fights have been either in a tournament setup mm -hmm. or in a title fight. I mean, you almost always have yes. yourself in sort of a do-or-die situation. Tell me a little, and, and of course that's that's again on, on, uh, on Saturday night. Tell me a little bit about what that does for you when you step into the cage every time. Makes me tougher, you know, I like challenges, you know, I love when everything is on the line like that. You know, I mean, like you said, it's the turn, Bellator tournament that I've been doing. I, I won two of them, you know, the plan is to get this turn and uh, just keep going, man. I want tough matches, I want tough fights, you know, I want, you know, competition that's gonna, you know, you know, get my name out there even more. You know? I just want tough competition and uh, this tournament, it's as tough as it can be, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot on the line, you know, title, you know, the money. There's a lot on the line, man. This is where, this is where we shine. This is where I shine, you know what I mean? Uh, tough competition. That's what I'm here to do. I know you said you're not looking past him, but with the win on, on uh, Saturday, what becomes more important to you, getting the title back or getting a win back against Rory McDonald? Getting the title for sure, you know what I mean? Of course, there's always that little feeling that, man, I want to get that win back, I want to get that fight, but uh, it doesn't matter for me, you know, for me, the most important thing is the title, you know, if Neiman beats him, you know what I mean, I beat, you know, I beat Neiman, it's a guy that beat him, so it's even better, you know what I mean, so, uh, but of course, on paper, <laughs> Robbie will be the ideal match, but uh, if it's not him, it's fine, you know what I mean, uh, I just hope everything is good with him mentally, you know, we saw what he's going through. You know, I just hope, you know, we focus on this and come back as strong as ever. Because, uh, you know, if I end up fighting him, I want to fight the best Rory. You know what I mean? Uh, he's got to be all mentally there for that. But uh, it's in the future, you know. Like we said, first is MVP, then we think about that even more. But I just want to get this fight over as quick as possible. Sit back, go to New York, watch him fight, and then we go from there.